Kristen, are you there? No, actually, Chris, it's Chris B. Heron with uh, Tap of the Title Branch Manager. Oh, oh. okay. How you doing? How are you? Very well, thank you. I appreciate you calling. It didn't say that on here, so I had no idea to recognize you. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I got to attend the Har breakfast last week. Uh-huh. Okay. And they were talking about the new QM. There was three line officers there, and they gave us some really good information. But one of the things that they they mentioned but they didn't address is the new escrow rule. Does the, that does that apply to escrow as in what I do as an escrow officer, or does that apply to the escrow account side of it for the consumer? Basically, if they were mentioning it from a context of escrow and it was loan officers that were speaking, they were most likely speaking about it from an escrow perspective, meaning uh, collecting taxes and insurance in an escrow. Now, escrow one of the things is the 3% rule includes several fees associated, including escrow from an escrow officer's fee perspective. But generally speaking, what happens is the escrow laws out there are very specific in regards to how many months we have to collect based upon what day of the month, what year of the month that you're closing in, making sure that taxes are paid from the, from the year prior, if you're located in a flood zone or not in a flood zone, acceptable forms of insurance, whether it be the deductible required 2% or 1%. So escrow is very particular in regards to how it has to be set up, and QM really hasn't changed anything in regards to your escrow. Escrow is a very uh, very sensitive subject in one sense because a lot of times if you're buying a new home and you have what they call an unimproved property tax versus an improved property tax, that's really where most investors nowadays are going and saying, there is no such thing as unimproved. We will collect full escrows, which is the way it should have been done from the, from the very beginning. So it was probably more in that context, but again, I don't want to answer specifically what they were be meaning because I don't know maybe what they were speaking about in that term, but I will tell you, QM, what it has done is it's just going to make lending a lot sharper, and it's going to make lending more difficult in some side of things, but also a lot stronger on another side of things. Right. Okay. Good. Yeah, so how's everything going up there in Conroe? Uh, going Good. I will tell you, you know, let us know where your office is up there. I'll tell you, I was up there with your office a couple weeks ago. You guys have a phenomenal facility up there. Let us know where it's, where it's at. Okay. Um, it is at 17099 Walden Road, Suite 190, Montgomery, Texas, 77356. And it is off of Walden Road, of course. But the phone number to contact us is 936 936- Five eight two eleven thirty three. We would love to help you with all your title needs out there. I'll tell you what, and that was me on that picture, by the way, on Facebook. I know. I was like, Is that Chris? <laughs> How funny. That was definitely me out there. Well, I'll tell you, if any of our listeners, if you're doing anything, anything up in Conroe, definitely give her a call. Great company, great individual, and we really appreciate you calling in today. Did I answer a little bit of that question for you? Yes. You, thank you so much, Chris. Likewise. Thank you. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.